What, what do you remember about that fight? Well, you know, we, uh, we, uh, the memory's gone now. I forget, we had, um, I forget the place where it was. It was anyway, we've come over, we've got a great big play because we knew that it would get a lot of um, people to see it. And, uh, but he came over and uh, it was Roy Shaw. And, I mean, Henry Cooper and all that was the champions in them days. And uh, Roy Shaw was Roy Shaw. And, and uh, Terry Downs took him out and had him on the, on the booze in the clubs and all that. And uh, he, he was up the gym and he was he was jump, kicking the bag and uh, passing the bag. And I wasn't training properly because he thought you know, Roy Shaw was nothing. And uh, he fell over and the, the, the ring posts smashed that he'd done two ribs. But he never said nothing about it and he, he came on, we still went through with the fights. And, uh, and then we got in the ring and I, and I um, whacked him and, and some fierce punching. I caught it and he said, that's it boy, keep it up. And I hit him again, you know, full on. That's it boy, keep it up. And I went back to the corner and said, I said, all right, all right, I said, I'm gonna make this all I can. And he said, and he's telling me to keep it up. He said, try his belly, Roy. So I went out and stuck a few hooks up his stomach. <laughs> he went. So I thought, oh, that's it. It's, in the, it's on the video. I'm, I'm just waking him up, the, the ribs all the time. And he fell through the ropes. And then he got back the first time. And he went through the ropes again. And uh, he never got back in time. So you know, I counted him out. Was it a, a tough fight? Oh, he was uh, oh, the oldest one I've ever had, anyway. Um, just, just, just slightly the memories of, of, of your father. Well, you know, I haven't got a lot to do with my father because he was in the war days. I'm giving my age away now, aren't I? <laughs> he was in the war days, and uh, I was evacuated with my mum in Wiltshire, and he was in the war. And then I, um, I c come back, I was about nine when he came out of the, uh, the army, and I was with him for about a year, and we, we got on well together. He used to have me sawing up all the wood. And, and going around the houses and selling little bundles of wood, so pocket money for me. And uh, he took, you know, he took me out to boxing clubs. And uh, then he, w he went out one night. He was, he was supposed to take me. He was supposed to take me to the speedway, but we had a lodger there called Jock, and he said, well, "Come on out to Point Harry, and, uh, and then we go up to the speedway and come home." So he went, "Yeah, all right." So what about me, Dad? He went, "No, you'll come next week." Shuffled me out, and he went out, and I said, and he, on the way home, he, he, his a car come out, and his, his pedal hit, hit the curb, and spun around a lamp post, killed him. Do you, do you think your life would have been much different had he lived? Yeah, I don't think I'd have gone to prison. Yeah, he, he had that sort of big influence. Yeah, oh yeah. And, and do you, he's buried in, in Dagenham, isn't he? That's right, yeah. And, and did you go and visit the grave? Yeah, lot? regular. And my mum's just died. So we've put our ashes on there and we've got a big Bible on there saying Harry and Rosina are together forever. And is, that, <laughs> is, is that somewhere that, that you will go? I'll go regularly, yeah. I mean, when you, when you pass, will you be with them in that site? I don't know where, where I'll be when I, <laughs> when I go, I don't know. Close. You wipe your eyes and stuff. You know, when uh, David Bailey wanted to back me eyes, he said, um, I want to catch you, say, Roy, Roy look fierce, Roy. Yeah. So I'd love to tell you a story, when I, you know, what makes me good. So I'll tell you the same thing. Yeah. I was down at Pink Country Club, and this geezer, come, a bird come, come over me, he said, would you come with my mate? That geezer's raped her. So I did he. So I went over and I said, oi, you I want you. So he went, well, I'm going to the toilet. So I went in the toilet and I followed him in there. And I said, raped any birds lately. And I smashed him. He fell on the floor and he got up. So I smashed him, dragged him outside and uh, just left him you know, on the pavement. That's good. You just, you just stayed up in front of me. I caught him with some right, you know, good punches.
How, how, how would you look at him? I mean, uh, Come here. So rip your fucking head. Uh, tell what else? Yeah, rip your friggin' head off. You know, yeah, the glasses are mongrels. Six cases, pedophiles are all mong mongrels. And they should be a. I mean, and we had a television thing with me, was in Old Bastards. And I said, What gives you the right? to attack these men. I said, just think of what they made that kid suffer. And you want me to say, why did I stab them? I said, stab them, I'd, I'd, I'd just keep on stabbing them. You know, they're on the side of you. Well, I, I smashed through the door, and I'm on the third landing. So I've got this big chunk of wood that was about the part of the door, and I looked over the landing, and there was only one screw there, and he'd run, he ran run out. So I had to prison to myself. So I know people saying, right, right, they're coming. Oh, this, this geezer called Freddie Sampson, the right nice fella, he had a, he has fit, so he had to have an observation so that you can see through. And he, he said, right, right, come here. I said, what's the matter? So he said, he said, go back, go back, go back, you're gonna get into trouble. I said, get into trouble? I said, I just went through the frigging door. So I said, so, oh, and then someone else was saying the screws are coming in. So I got all the, in them days, they had buckets of um, sand and buckets of uh, water in, in the toilets. So I kept on getting the buckets of sand and walking and had them over the centre. So as, this, as they was all coming in, all the screws, I was emptying sand and then water all, all over the, as they was coming in. It looked like Brighton Beach, the place. It was, you know, it was all ducking out of the way. Then they was running, like, chasing me down the landing. When I couldn't get no further, I turned around with this lump of wood. And then they, it was like the Keystone Cops, you know. I was chasing them and they were chasing me. Yeah, if you put your hands up now, they're ready, they know you're going to hit them. So if I'm learning to punch like that, straight from the... From, just from standing there, once you get your feet, jump, and over they go. Just one more of them, just one more, and I'll go to here. This one. This one. Left hand. 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 Left